Welcome to this short demo showing how, as a test or developer, you can create a new environment from nothing to a complete regression tested application in less than 30 minutes elapsed time. Now, for most organisations, they're prevented from doing this by not being able to stand up new infrastructure quickly and by having a manual deployment and test approach. So this short demo will show you how IBM DevOps can overcome these challenges. In this story, you're going to request a new environment for the vacation booking system. And this will involve standing up three new machines, installing Web for App Server, MQ, DB2, and Tomcat, deploying the vacation booking application, and then running some tests against the new environment to confirm everything is working. Now, often doing what I'm about to show you can take weeks and involve coordination across many teams, resulting in a lot of waiting and wasted time. For the testing, we're going to actually inject integration tests into the MQ layer to make sure the backend services and database are correctly working. We could also run functional tests against the UI to test the end-to-end -end behavior is as we expected. So as a quick summary of what I'm going to show you, you're going to log into a self-service portal and request a new environment. And then when it completes, about 20 minutes later, you will view the application and confirm the test results. And then finally, I'm going to briefly explain how it was all achieved. So you're going to start requesting your new environment by navigating to the self-service catalog, navigating down a few steps, and choosing the option to deploy to VMware. You then need to choose the blueprint uh, that we're going to deploy, or the template, specify a name, and then press the Deploy Environment button. And it really is that simple uh, to request that full stack that we were just talking about. Now, at this point, a few other things are happening. The portal is checking whether you exceeded your quotas, and it's automatically running any operational processes required for the new machines, e.g. registering them with a CMDB or getting IP addresses, you know, registering for backups, that kind of thing. Um, but now your request is underway, it's time to take a short, well-deserved break while everything goes away and runs in the background. So I've time-lapsed this piece of the video. Uh, and we're going to return back to the action about 20 minutes later. You can see that the request has now completed and that it's taken about 24 minutes. So this means that my infrastructure has been created, my middleware installed, my application deployed and configured, and finally a set of integration tests have been run. Now, even though all the tests worked, let's just go through and check that everything happened as it should. So first, let's go and look at the servers that got created. We can see that we've got an app server and a DB server and a Tomcat server. And we can see that the Tomcat server's address is 10.99.82.225. So let's use that to go and open up the website. Now, once you're here, there's actually a simple test you can do to check if everything looks like it's working. You can request the Barcelona flight and book it, and that will actually exercise the entire end-to-end -end application stack. So that will send a message down onto MQ, which goes to the application server, uh, which then utilizes some web services in the database and sends a response back. Now, as you can see, we've got a sensible response back from the system. So that basically tells us that the end-to-end -end connectivity is working and the application is fine. So that all looks really good. Finally, let's just go and have a quick look at the test results. We can do a quick search to pick up the test for today, and we see there's just one test instance. And if we click on that, we can see that there are three tests, all of which have passed. Great. So finally, let's do the last piece of the demo and go and uh, look at and understand what actually happened under the covers to make all this work. Here, you can see a graphical hot template editor, which allows you to drag and drop images, networks, and deployable components to quickly create a hot document, which can be executed. You can see the machines we wanted to provision and each component that needs to be installed. This template has 25 components on it and would represent a sort of medium com complex application. Behind each component is a more detailed workflow for how that component needs to be installed. 
here you can see that detailed workflow. Imagine having to do this kind of workflow manually for each of the 25 components. And that's why by defining and executing that hot document, we get a fast and repeatable process for deploying our applications. Well, that concludes the demo. And I'd just like to finish with saying that I hope you found it useful and that it showed you how, with IBM DevOps, you can save time by deploying that complete application stack. You can improve the quality with automated functional and integration tests and also have much better operational control over your cloud and you know how people are using it. So thanks for watching.